You're not the CIO, Mr. Dweebikowski. Well, no, I'm not, but you're not the prize patrol from Megalotto either. And yet here we are, so let's deal with it. We were assured a meeting with at least the EVP of HR. Yeah, well, her dance card's pretty full right now. I mean, do you have any idea what's happening in Dexter Financial? I mean, it's iceberg ahead, women and children first, keep stoking the shredder. So you got me. And you're the... I'm the call center manager. And since this crisis started, my customer service reps on the front line are getting hammered on a daily basis. Okay. Like Detective Lopez said, crisis management customer service, or what we call hot seat CS, is one of our specialties. Any company can be hit with a PR nightmare, and during a crisis, customers can be overly emotional, unpredictable, and volatile. CSRs sitting in the hot seat need a slightly different set of skills. They should be trained as early in the crisis as possible. See, that's the problem, Dr. Chase. I think it may be too late for that. I mean, the brown smelly stuff has already hit the oscillating air machine. Ooh. Vivid. Well, our full-on training is pretty in-depth, but for now, we can share the simple mnemonic device. And all you have to do is remember two words, hot seat. Hear the customer. Listen actively with the head and the heart. Offer a sincere apology. Warm, specific apology can diffuse the most volatile situation. And tell the truth. Owning up to mistakes, whether real or perceived, can work wonders. Show empathy. Relate to the customer and demonstrate your understanding. Expect the unpredictable. Every customer will react differently, so be prepared. Acknowledge and validate. Customers want to know you truly understand their feelings and concerns. Turn the tide with three options. If you offer them at least three positive alternatives, they'll usually pick one. Oh. You know what? This is revolutionary. <laughs> if I can have the official company position too, that's all I need. We understand. Problem is, by the time you get it, it may be too late. Today on Business News, Dexter Financial, Scandal, Scare, and Flat Out Lies. Peg Boss of the Boss Group named PR Maven of the Year. I'm Jim Rantorum. And I'm Bridget Ravermore. And this is Business, Business News, News Hourly. Hourly. Ben and I have already contacted Dexter Financial on a preemptive crisis management basis. Good. See how they're doing about the hot seat CS? Spectacular. Well, so far they're being very no active about this. Rookies. Dina, we've got to run. Serve well. Serve well. Bye. Customers everywhere have three basic expectations. To be treated with respect, to get what they paid for, and if there's a problem, to have that problem resolved. And these normally kind customers only become upset customers when one or more of these expectations isn't met. That's why we believe that unhappy customers are made, not born. Really hope this newbie is adaptable. There's only room for one badass on this team. Yeah, well, I'll take that promotion. Pass the badass mantle on down to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few miles away. Everything's riding on my tag team CS diagnosis for the Hamilton. Mm. It's been weeks. There's no word. It's nothing. Whoa. What happens to the Jason? I got this. We all know and love. Everything okay? I. Lana and I just put money down on a new place. If I don't make investigator this time, 